Hey, it's a French student here, and today we're going to be talking about how to create a resource folder and how we can pretty easily access a resource folder from a given class or object more specifically. So a resource folder is a folder which always would be specified in the program and therefore we can access it on any computer on any system in the program because it's already placed one specific place in the program. So what we'd first do is we would create a new package and I'm just going to call it resource. The name doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to call mine resource. And as you can see right now, it's just a normal package. But what we can do if we go inside our file project structure under modules, we can click on our package and turn it into a resource folder. And hit apply. And OK. So now, this one is specific and special, so let's first inside our resource folder create a new file, which I'm just going to call test text.txt. So it's a text file, and I'm just going to add a few lines with some text, and we will be reading this text shortly from our main class. So what I would do is I would create a new method just inside my main class. And let's just create a public void read file method, which in this case, let's take the input of a string and it will be the file name. So right now we just read a file and I'm going to reading it to the console and it's going to be reading the file with the D given file name. So what I would do is I would create a new file, file which equals, and first of all, we need to import file from java.io, and we would create a new file, and inside this file, we would call a method called get class, which gets the class, then we would call get resources to get our resource folder, our system, we would then give it the file name and we wouldn't get the file path because we actually need the file path for a given file which needs to be passed as a parameter to a file object to use this file. So now we get the specific path from a file from a resource folder but we access it through a resource folder by doing get class dot get resources. So what we can simply do now is create a scanner with equals a new scanner and it's going to take the input of our file. We are told to surround it with a try catch because it could cause a file not found exception in the case the file is not found. And we would just simply do a pretty simple setup. We just do while our scanner dot as a next line. We would just like to read our next line and print it to the console. So, to simply do is my print line dot, and inside we're going to use scanner dot next line. So, we'll just be reading the next line. And now, it's kind of tricky because we need to create our read file method inside our main. We would just create a new main object. And we need to give it nothing yet, but we actually need to create call our read file method on our main. And we need to pass this one our name of a file, which in this case is the as a string text dot text because it's a text file, and we would run the program. And we will see that it gets the file from our resource folder and reads whatever we've put in the file, which in this case just some random stuff. But in this case, we would pretty easily be able to change the file inside our resource folder. We would just simply pass the file name as long as the file is inside our resource folder. So this is how you create a resource folder in IntelliJ and how we would access it through a class, in this case, a our main and then our read file method, which reads the file and in this case prints to the screen.
So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.